currently in the park at the moment and Reese has been on the swing for quite a bit one of his most favorite activities ever so um, I want to just show you how we transition from activities and something like being in the park we see all parents have this difficulty where their children are having fun they are shouting things like five more minutes they're never screaming child well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, Reese is pretty happy on the swing. Yeah, but there he is swinging at the moment. So, I'm going to show you what you do. You have to first of all state what is happening. And then you've got to tell them how long it's going to take till they end the activity. And this is a key part because you get so many parents either not communicating it's coming to an end or when they say and they communicate that, they're saying things like five more minutes and no parents timing that and no child understands how long five minutes is. So, Reese is having fun here and I'm gonna show you how we do a tra calm transition from the swing to something else in the park. So if you can watch me. So, Reese, last go. Now I'm gonna count downwards. And with each count, I'm gonna push the swing just to give it some like assistance to what what we're doing. So, Reese, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, bring it to a stop. Right, Reese, all finished. Okay, you're going to come off the swing. So come on up. Right, so you can see he's quite happy to come off the swing. Have you put your legs on there? A little more difficult with one hand, I'll tell you that. Okay. Right, sorry about that. A bit difficult getting him out the swing with one arm. But quite happy to come with the swing. The, the, sign, the sign that again of our communication that he was stopping and then counting down and then all finished. And now he is off to another activity which is on the slide, which I'll show you now. So as you can see, no meltdown, no worry. He is going on the slide now. Pretty happy, happy transition between activities. And that's how it's done. So there's your tips. State last go, and then count down from 10 or five, assigning each count to something to give it meaning. And then once you're done, state all done or all finished, and then immediately transition to the next activity. You're going to have to practice it, but keep using the same keywords and these will become ingrained in your child's vocabulary and they'll understand what they mean. So, happy transitioning everyone.